Now this is something that Apple did not tell you in its event. What's sad to see is that thing most people don't even know that. So the iPhone 14 and 14 Pro just released and the pre-orders have started. So if you're looking to invest your money in an iPhone, the iPhone 14 Pro promises a lot of new improvements, not just in hardware, but also a lot of them in software. Hi, my name is Thera Singh and on this channel, we talk about films, tech, cameras and art. So let's first take a look at the iPhone 14 Pro because that's more interesting and has the most amount of improvements in the camera department. So the 14 Pro has a quad pixel sensor, which prioritizes light by pixel binning. So the main camera on the iPhone 14 Pro can now shoot 48 megapixel photos as well as videos in ProRes RAW. Now bear in mind that the camera will choose when to take 48 megapixel photos and videos when it thinks that the lighting conditions and everything else is perfect and then it's going to take a 48 megapixel otherwise it's just going to default to 12 megapixels. Now you can choose to override this manually take 48 megapixel videos in ProRes RAW but the file sizes are going to be huge. Another great improvement is the focal length which has changed to 24 millimeter as compared to 26 millimeter in the iPhone 13 Pro. As 24 millimeters is a much standard choice for photographers and cinematographers and it offers a little more space in the frame of the camera while you're shooting so you can get a little bit more closer to your subject. Now this is something that Apple did not tell you in its event and I only learned about it by watching some reviewers talk about it. So the iPhone 14 Pro is going to have a dual native ISO. The base one is going to be 100 and the other one is going to be 800 and this is why i think that apple is saying that the night mode is going to be much better it's saying that it's going to be two times faster when you take photos in night mode it takes a little bit of time to render that photo but it's going to be two times faster so i think that dual native iso comes into play there is a new two times telephoto and it's not a separate lens it's just happening by taking your 48 megapixel photos taken from your main lens cropping them outputting a 12 megapixel photo so the ultra wide camera improvements include f 2.2 aperture 13 millimeter focal length three times slow light improvements ultra wide has seen a significant amount of improvement from 13 pro what's sad to see is that in the base models of iphones like the iphone 12 13 they haven't re received much improvements even in this year so the base model the iphone 14 is not much better than the iphone 11 now they're saying that a three times telephoto lens is much better than before with photonic engine and such but it's basically the same thing that they had in the 13 pro and any improvements will be noticeable once the phone comes out and reviews start to happen on youtube so in the iphone 11 pro they had f 2.4 in the 13 pro they had f 1.8 now in the 14 pro they have f 2.3 for macro photography i think they have increased the f point to increase the sharpness of the photos now there are improvements in the flash not that i ever use it or if anyone uses the flash there have been made improvements in it the cinematic mode is now up till 4k 24p the iphone 14 is literally the iphone 13 with some minor tweaks but let's just talk about little bit of improvements that have been made just to cover all of our bases the main camera is 12 megapixels f 1.5 as compared to the f 1.6 12 megapixels camera that was in the 13 so it's just like a 0.1 improvement in the f-stop the ultra wide camera is basically the same one that they have been using since the iphone 11 i have an iphone 11 and i use the ultra wide all the time and it's fantastic so if you you want an improvement in the ultra wide camera you better go for a pro model like the 13 pro if you have a lower budget or if you are just blowing money the 14 pro the selfie camera sees some improvement though it's still 12 megapixels but it's now f 1.9 as compared to f 2.2 in the 13 now all the iphone 14 models uh, the base ones and the pro ones have autofocus in the selfie camera which was never a problem for someone like me and i think most people don't even know that the 13 and previous iPhone models do not have an autofocus in the selfie camera. The action mode also comes down to the 14 and it's just like the stabilization you have on Insta360 or the GoPro. So these were the new features in the iPhone 14 and 14 Pro cameras. I hope you liked the video and found something useful. Do like, subscribe and also hit the notification bell for future notifications of such videos. I am Dehra Singh and I'll see you again the next time. Adios.